The coastline is where the land meets the sea. The coastline is a very dynamic zone. In some places, coastlines are under attack from the waves. In other places, material is being deposited on the coast to form beaches and other features. Different physical processes are involved in shaping the coastline, marine processes, sub-aerial processes and mass movement. Wave action is the most important marine process. There are two main kinds of waves. Destructive waves break on the coast with a lot of power. They have a very strong backwash. This means they drag material away from the coast, eroding it. Constructive waves are much weaker and they have a stronger swash than backwash. That means they tend to build up material on the coast by deposition. There are three main ways by which waves erode the coast. Hydraulic action is erosion by the force of the waves hitting the coast, forcing air into cracks in the rock and weakening it. Abrasion is caused by the stones carried by waves hitting the coast and wearing it away. Attrition is erosion to the material carried in the waves as it rolls around and bumps into other stones and rocks carried by the waves. Waves are powered by the wind. Prevailing winds do not always hit the coastline straight on. This means that waves carry material up the beach at an angle. But gravity means that the material runs straight down the beach before waves pick it up and move it up the beach at an angle again. So material gets carried along the beach in a process called longshore drift. Weathering is another process that helps shape the coastline. Weathering breaks down the rock in different ways and erosion then removes the material. Mechanical weathering is one type of weathering. Salt crystals from seawater can grow in cracks in rock, weakening the rock. Other types of weathering happen at the coastline. Chemical weathering, when minerals in rock slowly dissolve from the rainwater. And biological weathering, when plant roots or animal and bird burrows weaken the rock. Mass movement is the final physical process we will look at here. There are lots of different types. Rock falls are one type. This is when weathered material falls off a cliff due to gravity. Slumping is a second main type of mass movement. This usually happens when erosion has weakened the bottom of a cliff and a section of the cliff face slumps downwards under the effect of gravity. This often happens after a period of heavy rain saturates the soil and permeable rock layers of a cliff, making it heavier. Slumps tend to follow a curved surface like a scoop, so that the new cliff face left behind is not as steep as before. Marine processes create a wide range of distinctive coastal features. Do you know what processes are involved in the formation of these features?